Aside, this back to school season really did sneak up on me, especially since someone must have been drunk when they invented the quarter system at UCLA because I literally started summer a month ago. But for all y'all poor suckers who are going back to school soon, here are 30 cute back to school outfits to ease the suffering of being forced to memorize arbitrary facts in a windowless classroom for seven hours a day. This first one is a little fancier and perfect for the first day of school, the one day of the year when you forget how much school sucks. Uh, just kidding, stay in school kids. If your school has a dress code and since we don't want to be distracting any boys with our shoulders, god forbid, I layered a frilly crop top under my dress to give me some more coverage. Next, we're switching out my picnic bitch shoes for some trusty Converse, adding a crop jacket and letting my hair down for a more casual option. I'm loving this jacket because it's giving me some fall vibes, but it's only like five inches long, so it's not actually keeping anyone warm. Sticking with the casual theme, here's an option with a more chill t-shirt layered underneath. This one's from Brandy, and I love the 90s inspired ruffles and rib texture and details. I promise this is the last outfit with that same dress, but I switched out my Converse Converse for some platform sandals to add some height, but they're still super easy to walk in. And this is key, they don't make that loud clompy sound in the hallways that heels do. I honestly don't care about that shit anymore now that I'm in college, but I remember in high school for some reason I was really self-conscious about that. Although I feel like I just managed to massively overthink every part of my life when I was a high schooler. Now we're changing out that dress for some jeans. Ooh, a bold choice. This one is a bit of a twist on the classic jeans and a t-shirt combo because we still have those funky sandals, which are a little bit of a statement. This outfit might be more for my college kids out there. Oh God, why am I dancing like that? Um, I just wanted to show y'all an option with some color because I've particularly been loving the yellow and blue denim combo lately. If your school thinks a belly button is too sexual to have out and about, then you can always tone it down with a longer top that's tucked into your jeans. Next, we're changing it up with a simple white button up, which if you don't have in your closet already, you can probably steal from your brother or your boyfriend or your next Tinder hookup. Um, am I talking to high school students? That seems inappropriate. If you're in college and over the age of 18 is what I'm saying. Now we're getting our Kelsey Simone on with some accessories, a black double ring belt that vaguely resembles the Gucci one, but didn't cost like $500 and some comfy black slip on loafers. I'm changing out the jeans for a black denim skirt. This is probably a little bit short for most high schools, but if you have a longer skirt or even plain black jeans, that would work just as well. And then I'm wearing some pearl shoes for a little pop of, I was gonna say color, but I mean like sparkle, glamor. Okay, moving on. This is a good, I just rolled out of bed, but I still look cute type of look, because apparently it's not cool to look like you tried hard anymore. I don't know, kids these days. I just left the shirt untucked and flowy over some shorts and then again threw on those loafers. Here's a last ditch effort to get some use out of my favorite summer pieces. I love the purple flowers on this top paired with some yellow block heels for a little complimentary color action. Okay, the dancing is getting somewhat problematic at this point. Now we're getting real creative, layering a yellow gingham dress over my top again to cover those scandalous shoulders. Next, I brought back that cropped jacket for a more casual option and to make the summer dress a little more fall appropriate. This is low-key the same outfit as earlier in this video, except instead of the cherry dress, I have this gingham one. Next up, because I'm wild, we're layering pants over all of this. Now the key to tucking in a lot of fabric into jeans and not have it look absurd is to like really get deep down in there, really commit to it, smooth that fabric layer all the way down your butt and don't let it just bunch around your hips. And there we go, minimally lumpy. Here's a really simple one. I feel like the secret is as long as you have jeans and sneakers that really suit you, honestly, any t-shirt you throw on will look pretty cool. Here's an aggressively comfy option. I threw on an oversized sweatshirt and cuffed my jeans so I wouldn't get too overwhelmed in fabric. To dress it up, I'm bringing back that black skirt and embellished shoes and tying up the sweatshirt so I don't lose my waist. 
Okay, at this point, I'm kind of running out of ways to describe these outfits, so here's just another option with a long sleeve polo that I thrifted. Oh my, your mom from the 80s calls, and she is looking fine. I was initially afraid this outfit would look a little too stuffy, but I ended up loving it. I think the cropped jeans and the sandals that leave a little bit of skin around the ankle area uh, really helped balance the whole outfit out. I'm changing out that polo for a silky slip to add some texture, and then layering on my denim jacket for kind of a Canadian tuxedo look, but honestly a pretty inoffensive take on one. I like that the denim was different colors and it's broken up by the silk top, so it's not like too in your face denim on denim, 2000s Justin Timberlake. Next up, here's a classic overall dress and t-shirt combo that's dressed up a little bit by the roughly sleeves on this top. To balance out the shortness of the skirt, maybe make it a little more school appropriate, I added an oversized suede jacket that adds a little bit of extra coverage and extends beyond the bottom hem of the skirt. Changing out everything but the jacket, this look gives me like an old school safari, Indiana Jones meets Jane Goodall vibe. Um, I feel like I'm ready to do some research. Just kidding, I actually am so ready to never have to write a research paper again. I thought this next look was an interesting way to incorporate fall and summer pieces into one outfit. The sweater is cozy, but the sandals keep it summery, and I feel like somehow it all works together. Jumping into more of a fall color scheme, I added a deep red corduroy skirt and these pearl sandals. Honestly, I look ready for the holiday season, which kind of terrifies me as I'm desperately clinging on to what's left of summer. Here I'm bringing in some culottes, which like three years ago, I swore to myself I'd never wear because I thought they were genuinely the most hideous things, but I don't know, something changed within me and now I love them. I think they're a cool way to make a bit more of a statement than your everyday straight or skinny leg jeans, but still obviously casual and appropriate for school. This outfit is a cool twist on the classic jeans and t-shirt combo, which I feel like I've said like three times in this video so far. Um, but first of all, I'm obsessed with this t-shirt. I think it's like the pinnacle of all graphic tees. And secondly, I like that these jeans are a bit of an unexpected silhouette. Here's the same thing, but dressing it down with some Converse just for days that you want to be comfy and crawl back into bed as soon as possible. We've all been there, trust me. And for our last outfit, I'm bringing back some summery vibes with the pastel yellow and blue color palette. And just kidding, here is a bonus outfit because apparently I can't count properly. Same thing, but with a jacket. Okay, and that is actually it. Thank you so much for watching and making it to the very end. Best of luck in school if you're headed back soon. Just remember to take notes, make friends, and never lend someone your pencil because you're never fucking getting it back.